What's going on everybody? Liberty here bringing you some search and destroy on raid. Using unknown soldiers gameplay for this. This is one of the first couple of search games that me and him have got to play together. Ended up getting the game about three days ago and enjoying it. I'm getting my butt kicked. I'm trying to get used to the changes. And it's a completely different game. But I like it. I mean they still had the noob tube, so they were supposed to take that out and I got killed by a couple of noob tubes, not in this gameplay, but a couple other games, and I was pretty upset because I thought they took them out, but oh well. But uh, some changes that I've seen, it's a lot harder to kill people, which is good. It's not really noob friendly, unless you have a sniper rifle, and I don't know about you guys, but the grenades, it just seems like unless I have to stick them or if they're standing right on top of it, it's the only time it does something. If they're right next to them or anything it doesn't do anything doesn't kill them it doesn't even seem like it damages them and then the knives I've had so many butter knives in this game it's it's ridiculous and I just can't knife I guess I just suck at knifing but I was gonna see what was your guys favorite game type what your favorite maps and the black ops 2 and what you guys like and dislike about the game just uh, let me know give you guys a little bit of my setup that I've been using and there's a couple guns and everything that I still haven't tried out or haven't unlocked yet but I'm planning on trying it out but as of right now I'm using the type 25 for my assault class rocking the purple camo then I have the foregrip and reflex sight on it and it's it's working pretty good using a wild card for the double first perk I'm running blind eye and hardline I'm running toughness to help me out in the long battles when I'm getting shot at and the third perk I keep switching back and forth and everything but I am at engineering right now because I discovered a little thing called a black hat and if you guys haven't tried out that black hat then I suggest you try it out it's a lot of fun and very versatile but what it does, it hacks enemy equipment and everything, and you can hack things through the wall. You can like take the bouncing baddies, shock charges, C4, just whatever, whatever's just laying there, and it takes like less than a second. Or it even takes out guardians, sentry guns, UAVs, and everything, and you can do it through walls, and it just takes about five, six seconds. But it's, it's pretty nice just in case if you don't see an enemy equipment or whatever you can use to take down UAV. You get, I think you get like 75 points for it. But uh, that's why I'm running the engineering perk for that because you can see all the different equipment everywhere. It glows red on the screen. But anyway, for my uh, rush class, I'm using the PDW. I'm really enjoying that. I'm having the la I have the laser sight, long barrel on there. I'm using hardline, toughness, and engineering because also in that class, I have the black cat and it's useful for when I'm rushing and everything for the enemy equipment to be noticeable and me not just run into a room and get shock charged or bounce embedded or something like that because a lot of people seem like they're using the, the shock charge bounce embedded combo which is it's pretty good it's legit and it's annoying if you get hit by it but then uh, I've tried out some snipers uh, doesn't they all seem the same to me pretty much they're slow and they kill one shot one kill and actually coming up now I'm gonna be a little clutch moment that I have in this kill the guy in the pool <clears throat> then I got try to go fuse this bomb and I'm getting shot at from behind. I don't know how this guy didn't kill me. Ended up killing him and belly flopping and splashing right into the pool. The fuse and then I then I get shot at the end by the, some sniper that he couldn't shot or shoot. I think he shot at me two or three times before he killed me. But anyway, uh see what kind of game game type you guys are like and we're getting into domination because we can there's a lot of as long as you're playing the objective and you get a lot of 
scores and everything like that and <clears throat> get them high kill streaks, which is good. Of course, we're always going to play Surge. We love Surge. And we've been hard point. We, I don't know. I don't like hard point that much. We got to get used to playing it because we did the little league play. And we're doing the 6v6 and the 4v4, and it just mixes up all the game types and everything. And it kind of uses MLG rules with like search. You gotta, you'll be defending one round, and then the next round you'll be planning, and it's pretty fun. I mean, it's it makes it easier like that. And I like how they uh, switch domination around in this that it has a halftime, and you start at both sides. One you'll start at A, A flag, and the other one you'll start at C flag. Then it takes out people like, well, you have the better flag advantage or this and that, and it just takes that out, which is good. But then, <clears throat> other than that, you see uh, equipment used. Of course, like I said, the black hat just just got that. But I've been using the shock charges too. The shock charges are real nice, and what else am I using? The tomahawk. Cause I, I just I hate the the grenades. I'm about to get rid of them and take them off of my lethal. But as of right now, I still have it on there. But I might take it off for an extra point. Actually, soldier's about to clutch it here. Let's get to get the two kill for the win. It's coming up to the end of the video. I'll have another video out for you guys either late tonight or early tomorrow. <clears throat> but uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will. Talk to you next time.